hi guys so let's jump straight into the business so what you're going to be needing you're going to be needing of course your foam this is your foam i have about um it's about an inch or let's say 0 0.75 inches okay this is my foam you can get it in any furniture workshop or any furniture where they're selling any furniture upholstery stuff okay so you'll be needing your needle and thread you'll be needing a marker pen your rulers your measurements and also very important you're going to be needing your basic skirt pattern this basic skirt pattern doesn't have any um additional allowance it doesn't have any steam allowance you just need your basic skirt pattern okay if you don't know how to draft this basic skirt pattern i have a video on that is well detailed so i'll drop the link in the description box below all right so the measurements you need are of course just the normal measurements you need for your basic pattern but there's an additional measurement that is from your waist to your under butts so you'll be needing from your waist to the under butt this line where the butt is stopping you're going to take the measurement from the waist to the under butt so let's continue so guys apart from that it's only your normal measurements you will need okay you need the waist measurements you need your hip measurements waist to hip waist to under butt like i mentioned before you need your waist to new and waist to above new all these measurements i already explained it in my previous video or in a detailed video on how to make the pattern of your fitted pencil skirt so this pattern is a very fitted pencil skirt as you can see is well curved and well laid can you see so i have two patterns here the front and the back So I have two patterns here. This is the back pattern and this is the front pattern. It's from waist to the under butt line. Okay, so let's dive straight into the making of the pattern. So we'll start with the front pattern first. So guys, for our calculation, as you can see here, you can see my calculation for our new hip this new hip because we are trying to make the hip larger so this our formal hip we are just going to use it to make our pattern but for the new hip that you're going to use in making your own clothes you're going to add the foam thickness plus the foam thickness times four because it's in four sides the front pattern is going to be left and right the back left and right so that's four parts so the the foam thickness the foam thickness depends on what your clients wants if they want it extra extra large fine if they want it normal okay but it's, it's okay from um 0 0.7 inches to about 1.5 inches is okay so it's you won't go and blow everything up you know it will be looking um abnormal okay so the foam thickness times four plus your old hip so this foam six thickness here the space here you're going to impute your own accurate foam thickness okay so i'm going to mine is one times four you know it's 0 0.75 but approximately one times four plus 39.5 which is my hip okay four plus 39.5 which is my hip will give me 43.5 inches so when i'm drafting my skirt as in the the the, the normal skirt on fabric 
I'm going to be using hip for 3.5, not 39.5. Because if you use 39.5, you're going to end up with a smaller skirt. The boots, the padding won't won't enter. It won't fit in well. Okay, it will be so tight because you're trying to enlarge the 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 butt. Okay, so when you're drafting your skirt on your fabric, please use this use 43.5 if your foam thickness is one inch please impute your own foam thickness okay so let's dive in all you need now is this the front one is very very simple i'm going to make it as simple as possible all you need is to come down from your waistline come down from your waistline by one inch just that come down from your waistline by one inch then you impute your dart measurement from here impute your dart measurement my dart measurement is 4 plus 0 0.5 inches allowance will give me 4.5 so I'm imputing 4.5 here so on the hemline you're going to come up by 2 inches so this is 2 inches here okay so this line one two three you're going to connect it but i'm feeling that this two inches is quite long because my skirt is from the from my waist to to my knee so i think i'm going to come up by three inches i wouldn't want it to be so long so i'm coming up by three inches but if you look at it and yours is not too long you can do it two inches okay but mine i'll be coming up by three inches so i'm going i'm going to go now to connect these three points together so this is it and i have my points here make sure it's not pointy pointy like we always do try as much as you can to make it not look so sharp okay try to blend it so i'll be blending it as i cut okay so this is the front this is all you need for the front so guys this is our back pattern and we know that we are doing the front the hip and butt together okay so this is what we are going to do from here you come in by one inch this is my zipper allowance as you can see here so from my zipper allowance you come in by one inch like so okay from the waist you're still going to come down by one inch all right then from here remember we went up by three inches they must match okay now this is where this from the waist to the underboard comes in this is where it comes in from waist to underboard i'm going to go in two by three and a half inches just, it's, it's just to you know just to make the boards very comfortable while you're sitting just going by 3.5 inches i don't know if it's standard but that's how i do my own so remember the front we have only three dots to connect here here and here but in this back one now we are having three this place this place this and this so try as much as possible to connect them very well okay so let's go here we are okay this is another one another one and um this is another one here we are so let me try to blend that it shouldn't be sharp it should be cold okay so this is the back 
as you can see and um, this is the front okay so before we cut out we'll try to level them so this will be the up and this will be the down this is the up and this is the down i'll go now to cut this and show us so guys this is what we have we have our front here and we have our back here okay so I'm going to put it on our foam and show us what we have. So guys, this is our cutout as you can see. This is it. And this is it. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead now to remove the papers to arrange it how it's going to be. So guys, this is how our our hip and boot pad is going to be so i'm going to use my needle and thread now to tag them up like this as you can see i'll tag them up like this and it will come like this so this is how it's going to be this side like so and this like so okay this is how it's going to be so I'll do that for the two and I'll be back. So guys, I finished this one as you can see. I finished sewing them together. Okay. So I want to show us how I'm sewing it. Okay. I just want to show us how I'm doing it. Just a running stitch, normal running stitch. You can use gum, you can use gum, apply gum here, apply gum here and comb them together. But I like using stitches because it, to me it lasts longer, okay? So you can use gum to save your time and stress, but I like using stitches. Okay, so this is it. Pass it through this side and bring it through this side. That's your normal running stitches nothing more okay this is just how i'm doing it pass it through this side you can see that i'm using a contrasting thread you can use you can use um a matching thread if you want but this is just going to be inside of a garment so it doesn't matter all right guys i'll go right now to finish it up so guys this is it i finished sewing it up this is how it looks like you can equally apply gum here to avoid this spacing i'll do that later okay so this is it this is how it looks this this is the other one this is how it looks you can see i leveled it up and down as you can see this is how yours is supposed to be so the next thing to do is to trim obviously we can't leave it like this because if you leave it like this it's going to be showing on your clothes okay so we have to trim these parts very flat as in very very flat as it is like this we have to trim those parts very flat like this this is how we're going to do it you can see my hand very very flat okay just sorry you can use your scissors to do it just to cut it to be very flat trimming it down okay you trim it down to be very 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 flat you can see what i'm doing especially the edges we're trimming down especially the edges okay so i'll go now to do that for the whole side and i'll get back to us hi guys so this is it after trimming it this is the thickness you know it was an inch before 
but this is it so i'll go now to put it on on the clothes or on the mannequin because this is actually for my mannequin i realize my mannequin butt is very small and it doesn't fit bigger clothes so i'll go now to put it on my mannequin and i will show us what it looks like before and after so guys this is my mannequin's butt and hip so this is the before and i'm going to put the after so guys you can see my mannequin hip i see how big it is can you see and see the tiny waist look how the hip is so guys give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful kindly subscribe to my channel like and share my video and i will see you guys in the next video bye